different methods of approximating the cost of a project in construction that are from the functional unit method, the cubic method, supervision of method, story and closure method, and approximate quantities method. So on today's tutorial, we want to look at the cubic method of our approximation and uh, actually, on this cubic method of approximation, we want to look at how we are going to get the height, how we implement the height for the flat roof and for the for the pitched roof. So guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, you know how we do it. Subscribe, share, and don't forget to leave. Now, what is this cubic method of approximation? So in this method, the cost of a unit cube is calculated from an existing project. Now you find that you have an existing project, so you calculate the cost of the of a, uni, a cube from that project. So in this cubic content, we need to get the external length. If this is our building, we need to get this external length of the building, and then we also check the external width it of that building so that we can be able to get the the cubic now once we have the external length and external width then we also need to get the height which is measured from the top of the foundation concrete to the point so for the you find that for the for the height for the flat roof and the pitched roof we measure the height differently so let's look at that because that is the aspect that we want to we want to incorporate in this in this cubic content cubic method of approximation for the pitched roof we said we take the length the external length and then we take the external with it so this is our length and this is our this is our with it now for our height we are going to measure it from this point here up to here so this one is going to be h yes that is going to be h and then on this rise this one here is going to be our small h so we are going to take a half the small h so our height will be for this rise we are going to take a half a half h so our total height our total height will be h plus a half small h so that will be our total height h plus a half small h so when we are calculating the cubic content because we need cubic so we are going to take the length the width and then the the height so if you had your height here that was 3200 for instance or 2800 and then here let's say you have a pitch of let's say 500 so you're going to take a half 500 and then you are to 2800 so that would be your total your total height now for the flat roof what normally happens for the flat roof we are going to measure the height so from bottom down here the height of the building that is h and then from this point here where the roof starts we had 600 millimeters so we are going to add 600 millimeters so our height will be h so this is going to be small h or h it's going to be h plus 600 so that is our height so if you have if you are using cubic content method bear in mind <coughs> the difference implementation of the height or how we use the we use the height so you'll find that this method has advantages and disadvantages like it gives results very quick and then it gives results cheaply that is there's no use of a lot of stationaries and then the disadvantage is that it does not consider site and market condition you see if you cannot take this an existing project and then you use it to a new project because the site and the conditions on the ground are very are very different and then it does not consider specification for material the material that was used for this project is not the material that will be used for another project as well as the workmanship and techniques of construction so guys that is how we get the heights for cubic method of approximation thank you for your time uh, until next time, bye-bye.